My name is Matt Hodson. I like to review raw vegan products. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing two raw vegan products, Garden of Life Raw Protein and Garden of Life Raw Fit. I have been eating 100% raw vegan for the past six weeks. I've been going to the gym for the past four weeks and using the raw products. And I think eating raw, going to the gym and using the raw products has helped me lose 15 pounds in the past six weeks. So that's awesome. I'm going to start with the raw protein, which this is a sample pack, both the raw protein and the raw fit. Our sample packs, I like to buy sample packs because I go to the gym four times a week. So I just like to buy four sample packs and take them with me. So I'm going to start with the raw protein. It says real raw vanilla, real raw vanilla, real raw vanilla. This is the real raw vanilla flavor. There's other flavors. Uh, it says real raw vanilla. Again, it's got a picture of vanilla beans. Garden of Life, USDA organic, raw protein, beyond organic protein formula. Excellent source of protein from raw organic sprouts, sprouted brown rice protein, 17 grams per serving, vitamin code, fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, K, live probiotics and enzymes, no fillers, artificial flavors or synthetic nutrients, raw, vegan, gluten free, dairy free, net weight 0.79 ounces, one serving, raw food dietary supplement. So on the back it says, Suggested use, adults mix one packet in six ounces of water, one or more times per day, can also be mixed with almond or rice milk, not intended for children. So the supplement facts for one packet is calories 90, total carbohydrates 4 grams, dietary fiber 3 grams, soluble fiber 2 grams, insoluble fiber 1 gram, sugar 1 gram, other carbohydrates 1 gram, protein 17 grams, Vitamin A, 200 IU, vitamin D, 400 IU, vitamin E, 5 IU, vitamin K, 7, MK7, 5 NCG. And then it's got the organic raw sprout blend, 21.9 grams, which is organic sprouted brown rice protein, organic amaranth sprout, amaranth sprout, organic quinoa sprout, organic millet sprout, organic buckwheat sprout, organic garbanzo bean sprout, organic lentil sprout, Organic azuki bean sprout, organic flaxseed sprout, organic sunflower seed sprout, organic pumpkin seed sprout, organic chia seed sprout, organic sesame seed sprout. Raw probiotic and enzyme blend, 250 milligrams. High protein chlorella, proteases, bacillus subtilis, and mixed tocopherols, one milligram. Alpha tocopherol, beta tocopherenol, gamma. Gamma tocotrienol, delta tocotrienol, beta tocotrienol, gamma tocotrienol. And it says other ingredients, raw natural vanilla flavor, raw organic stevia leaf, various yeast, saccharomyces cerevisiae, lactobacillus, vulgaris, nato, contains fermented soy. Raw food created nutrients are individually created through dual organism cultivation which typically allows for the natural creation of known and yet to be discovered code factors such as live probiotics, bioactive glycoproteins, bioactive lipoproteins, bioactive enzymes, glucomannan, SOD, glutathione, beta-glucans, lip lipoic acid, essential trace minerals, glutamine, polysaccharides, and COQ10. Raw, vegan, organic, gluten-free, dairy-free, Lactose free, no fillers, no synthetic nutrients, no artificial flavors or sweeteners, no preservatives. And it's part of the non GMO project. So that is the raw protein. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it with six ounces of water. So they, um, the raw meal that I did a review on, the raw meal, comes with a free shaker cup. It says Garden of Life, shake it up and go raw. So I use that for these. So I'm just going to. Put six ounces of water in here, which is a little under a cup, basically. So there are six ounces. And I'm going to take the raw protein, open it. There we go. Alrighty. Put that in here. So I like to do my protein like right after the gym. Sometimes I do it in the locker room at the gym. Sometimes I do it in my car, but right after the gym, definitely within half an hour, the half an hour window. So shake it up. So 
10 or 15 seconds. And I'm going to give it a taste. Mm, that is good. It's got a very unique van vanilla flavor. <clears throat> um, doesn't taste like any vanilla products that I've ever had. It's kind of an earthy, more natural vanilla flavor. Um, it's kind of got a grainy texture to it. It kind of sticks to my teeth when I drink it. And you can just down it real quick. Get some protein in real fast. And then I always have my green canteen on me. So what I like to do is I like to get every penny's worth and I just go ahead and put a little bit more water in here. Just to make sure I'm getting as much as I can out of it. And I go ahead and just make sure like get it, get it off the sides and the bottom. And as you can see, it's still got some color to it. So that means there's still stuff in there. And there you have it. So that is the raw protein. And that was $2.39 at my local health food store. Now for the raw fit. The raw fit doesn't have any different flavors. It just has the uh, original raw fit flavor right now. Burns fat, satisfies hunger, fights cravings with Svetol green coffee bean extract. Garden of Life, Raw Fit, USDA Organic, High Protein for Weight Loss, Burns Fat, Satisfies Hunger, Fights Cravings, Low Glycemic Index, Raw, Vegan, Gluten Free, Dairy Free, Soy Free, Net Weight 1.6 ounces, One Serving Raw Food Dietary Supplement. So you can already see right here that it's uh, 1.6 ounces uh, and the raw protein is 0.79 ounces so you get more uh, raw fit. The back says, suggested use, adults mix one packet and eight ounces of water up to two times per day. It can also be mixed with unsweetened almond or rice milk, not intended for children. And the supplement facts for one packet, which is 45 grams, calories 170, calorie from fat 10, total fat 1 gram, trans fat 0 grams, polyunsaturated fat less than 5 grams, monounsaturated fat less than 0.5 oh, grams, sodium 25 milligrams, Potassium naturally occurring 180 milligrams, soil carbohydrate 12 grams, dietary fiber 4 grams, soluble fiber 1 gram, and soluble fiber 3 grams, sugars less than 1 gram, other carbohydrate 7 grams, protein 28 grams, so you can see that this has 28 grams of protein, and the uh, raw protein only has 17 grams, so the raw fit has more protein. Vitamin A, 1500 IU, vitamin C, 2 MGs, vitamin D, 1000 IU, vitamin E, 30 IU, Vitamin K, A, M, C, Gs, calcium, 100 milligrams, iron, 5 milligrams, chromium, 120 M, C, Gs, magnesium, 349 M, Gs. So, raw organic sprouted protein blend, which is 44 grams, kind of a lot of stuff here. Organic sprouted protein blend, which is organic sprouted brown rice protein, organic flax meal, high protein cracked wall chlorella, Organic amaranth sprout, organic quinoa sprout, organic millet sprout, organic buckwheat sprout, organic garbanzo bean sprout, organic lentil sprout, organic azuki bean sprout, organic flax seed sprout, organic sunflower seed sprout, organic pumpkin seed sprout, organic chia seed sprout, organic sesame seed sprout, raw organic vanilla flavor, organic stevia leaf, sea salt. So raw weight loss and stress management blend is 700 milligrams. Raw steve all, which is raw naturally, Decaffeinated green coffee bean extract, standardized 45% to 50% chlorogenic acid, 400 milligrams, and raw organic ashwagandha, 300 milligrams. Raw organic glucose management blend, 330 milligrams. Organic babayo, babab fruit, organic cinnamon, organic alfalfa, organic daikon radish. Raw protein and probiotic and enzyme blend, 38 milligrams. Lactobacillus acidophilus bifobacterium, lactose 3 billion CFU, uh, prohydrolase 8,750 PC, hemicellulase 2,500 HCU, exylenase 500 XU, protease 2,500 HUT. Other ingredients, 
Saccharomyces cerevisiae lactobacillus vulgaris. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, mix this with eight ounces of water. So since it's more, you have to use more water. The raw protein is six ounces of water. This is eight ounces of water, so this is a whole cup. So here is eight ounces. That's a little bit too much. Try to get it as close to eight ounces as I can. All right, that's eight ounces. And I'm just going to open this. All right. And mix it in here. Pour it in there. Shake it up. So again, about 10, 15 seconds. Alrighty. Now I'm going to drink it. <clears throat> it's got a very similar flavor to the raw protein. Tastes a lot like it. Um, it's got a little bit more bulkiness to it. You can tell that you're getting more. It's just a little. It's a little thicker. It's a little heavier. And I do the same thing. I like to put a little bit of extra water in there. Just to make sure I get it all out. So, oh, I, I usually use my uh, green canteen because I usually use it in the locker or in my car. Again, half an hour window. Make sure to mix it up. Drink it down real quick. And there you have it. Alrighty then, so they both have a similar taste. Uh, the raw fit has more of a bulk to it. And the raw fit was $3.29. So the raw protein was $2.39. Raw fit was $3.29. So the raw fit is a little bit more. Raw protein versus raw fit. I definitely go with raw fit if you can afford it. If you can't afford this, if you want to save a dollar, then use the raw protein. They're both good products. Um, just depends on your budget and your uh, goals. And um, yeah, so they're both good. I recommend both of them. I personally like raw fit a little bit better. And that is it for this review. I did want to mention real quick how they do compare to Vega. Um, someone asked me to compare the raw products of Vega and. <clears throat> Both Vega and the Garden of Life raw products are great. Um, I was using Vega a lot a few months ago when um, before I went raw. And if you're vegetarian or vegan, Vega is awesome. But Vega isn't raw, so I switched over to the Garden of Life raw products, which is just equally as awesome. And um, if Vega was raw, I would use Vega. But it's not, so I use the raw the Guard of Life raw products. And um, when it comes to flavor, I think Vega does have a slightly better taste. Um, has more of a, what you would expect from protein. It does a better job at emulating that protein taste, but the, the raw products have like a more earthy, like natural taste to them. Um, it's a little more hardcore taste-wise. And I think protein-wise, they're about similar. Um, just because I'm in the raw veganism right now, I, I think that raw protein is just a slightly, slightly better choice than non-raw protein. And um, yeah, I've had good results with both Vega and the raw products. And as long as I'm raw, I'm gonna keep using the raw products. And that's it. So that is it for this review. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys next time.